This here is Blue. She is a female uh, German Shepherd. She's uh, called Blue for a reason. She's one of those uh, genetic anomaly Blue German Shepherds. We've had, um, she would be the eighth one this year that we've taken in. Um, the other seven were from breeders. And so this is a real problem, guys. People are breeding these dogs for money, pure money and greed. Um, all about what they can make off the money, the money off the backs of their animals. Come here, honey. Blue, come. She's got really great recall. She's got the prettiest little ears. They're kind of a frosted. Um, so she's not a true black shepherd. She's got a smoky haze to her, kind of a grayish. Come here, girl. Blue, come. Blue. So she got shaved on Friday for a spay, and they found out she was already spayed. So um, we were glad to hear that. Um, so they did actually, you know, kind of cut her there looking, but then they found out that she was already spayed. They saw some scar tissue. So we're glad about that. We wish more vets would um, tattoo dogs as a, like a mandatory rule. So this type of stuff wouldn't have to happen. Um, she's a good girl. Hey, Blue, come. Blue. Great recall. You just call her and she comes right back. Hi. Hi, little obnoxious girl. Gentle, gentle. Oh, thank you for the kisses. Thank you. Very, but look at that little frosty thing around her ears. It looks really cute. Yes, I know. You're a lovely girl. So she was living on a chain. She's a little thin. You can see her ribs. Um, she was living on a chain, and there was apparently 12 dogs on that property that were living in horrific conditions. If it was not bad, they would not have taken them out of there. Come on. Uh, apparently, it was really, really bad uh, because normally our animal control lets stuff like that slide. Uh, they let animals suffer here in this county, and the standards are very low for animal welfare issues. So um, it's not just Greene County, but Greene County's right up there with the rest of them. Uh, they're no different than all these other counties that don't prosecute animal cruelty and neglect. They, I mean, we live in a beautiful area. Look at this. This is gorgeous. You know, I'm 10 minutes from town. It's, you know, nice country property. Um, you're, we're in the hills, the foothills, the valley of the mountains in the background behind us on the other side. And, you know, it's a beautiful place to live. But, you know, these folks have a serious problem here. Like, I don't understand how you can just, you know, ignore and look the other way when there's all this animal and cruelty, animal cruelty around you. It's everywhere. I mean, like, this is really sick, folks. This is absolutely ridiculous. Like, they, this is shameful. This is disturbing, it's disgusting, and it really, frankly, borders on sociopathic behaviors. Um, so I'm just aggravated with this. This just doesn't go away. My aggravation is not going to stop until this abuse and neglect stops. Good girl. You like your ball? Huh? You got a ball? So just getting a video of this girl um, so that we can get her up for adoption. She's really pretty, very sweet, good with other dogs. Um, looks to be about two-ish, could be three, I don't know, another young dog. Uh, this is what we're dealing with, folks, just people get them, chain them up in a yard, put them in a pen, it gets filled with feces within a few days to a week, and they leave the dog alone. They don't take care of their animals. Yes, we have good pet owners here. I'm not boxing it as everybody in the South is a horrible pet owner. There's just massively high numbers of, of bad pet owners here, and no accountability. So, you know, if you have somebody who's driving drunk down the road, guess what? You're, if you get caught, you're going to jail. You're going to go to jail, and you're going to pay a price, and you're going to pay fines and court costs and probably jail time. Why is that not happening for animal cruelty, okay? Because it's not, and, and it's a slap on the wrist, and it's, you know, a plead down to just a misdemeanor, and this is just nonsense. We see chronic, chronic uh, um, neglect and cruelty for German Shepherds. And I know it's with all breeds, but I'm a German Shepherd Rescue and I'm just venting here. But this is just nonsense. Um, all I can say is more people need to move here from other states. And when they start seeing what we're seeing on a regular basis, you don't even have to be in rescue to see all this cruelty and neglect here. It's everywhere around you. You drive down the road and there's dogs chained up in people's yards. Like we're some knuckle dragging Neanderthal society here. I mean, I'm not asking you to have your dog sleep in your bed with you, but provide quality food, provide a, a roof over your dog's head. I get there's some people that just hell bent. They're going to keep their dogs outside. Well, feed them for crying out loud. Give them flea and tick preventative and heartworm preventative because a lot of them are not. 
and you know put up a fenced area look at this this is horse fencing here it's five foot tall and it comes i think it comes in six foot and it comes in four foot but we put the five foot tall this contains 99 percent of the dogs here and we have other extensive fencing here but this horse fencing goes up literally in one day my husband did that himself in one day it, literally about four hours so um and he's 65 years old so uh, no excuses no excuses this can be put up get some farm boys or some handy people handy men to go ahead and put up a fence for you so you can fence your dog in. You have a, a space so that they're not living with their feces and urine. And, and then when it rains, the ground's all mucky. You know, I mean, like, is that what you want for your animals? Is this really how you want your animals to be treated? Because that's what's going on here all the time. And it's, it's just sickening. You know, they, they, they're sentient companion animals. Do better, people. Do better.